Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're back out here at our little fishing stream, like a little channel here. We're gonna do a little fishing. It's hot, it's only like 93, so I don't know what the real feel is, but it's it's hot. But we're gonna give it a try, a couple hours, and see what happens. I got my body worn camera on today, so hopefully we'll get some action with that. We we'll just have to see. I'm gonna grab my net, my bait, and get casted out. set I overcasted old yeller gotten a lily pad over there of course I broke the line off because it's only eight pound test so yeah eight pound I think so I got that rigged up now I've got them both in water uh, monkey grabbed all shrimp I don't care for shrimp I got some chicken liver in here that's on old yeller. I got a piece of shrimp on this. And it's a very old shrimp. I didn't even know we had it. So I had a couple pieces of uh, a couple squid left. I wanted to bring those, but she grabbed the wrong bag apparently. So and I wanted to bring some them chicken gizzards, but we'll give this a shot and see what happens. So far, no bites. Uh, it's only been about 10 minutes, so. Um, but usually I'm getting bites before now, but it's very hot in that water. I casted uh, the Black Max out and reeled it in, and it um, had a bunch of seaweed moss moss on it. And man, that water is hot. I mean, really warm, like bath water. So I don't know. We'll just have to see. Still a little hot yet and it's early afternoon so I forgot my watch but so yeah we should maybe they'll start hitting here shortly I gotta get a drink so I just had a runner on the banana rod um, now I'm getting a bite I got my camera rolling here so this camera's getting hot and I've, I've got it covered up it's not giving me a overheat warning yet but I can feel it it's pretty warm really warm so I'll keep this one rolling just in case something happens before I can get you turned on here okay I'm getting hit on the black max and the banana rod I've got my body cam rolling too so Can't remember. I think I got shrimp on the banana rod and chicken liver on the black max. I better check it. Now it's still on there. It's a piece of shrimp. Must be something small or maybe a damn turtle. Hope not. Get 
tired of catching them turtles all the time. Yeah, we'll throw him back out there and see what happens. Hang tight, guys. Okay, so I've been rolling on a body cam. I'm getting hits, but they're not taking it. They're just little tiny taps. So I think they're either small fish or small turtle. Just eating the, getting what they can off of it. Because I don't think they, they can get the whole shrimp in their mouth. So, like it's hitting right now, but it's just little taps. And that's a real thin rod. So it doesn't take much to make it move. So, uh, I'll kick you on if we catch something. Okay guys, got some action on the Black Max here. There we go. Yeah. Nice. Looks like a catfish. Oh, and I just snapped my line. I knew, I knew I should have grabbed my, my nets right there. I knew I should have grabbed the net. Damn it. Alright guys, that's totally my fault. I thought this 17 pound test would pull it out of there, but I was wrong. <laughs> Alright. Let me get hooked back up here. Alright, we got a few raindrops. Nothing major, so I'm not going to worry about it right now. Because there's a nice breeze. Cooled down a little bit. Best time to fish is right before, during, or right after it rains. So I'm going to get you covered up. I'm going to keep fishing. Yeah, so that sucks. <laughs> Missing that fish like that. Well, I didn't miss it. Oh, I got to hit on the Black Max. I mean, I got it in. I should have. But as soon as, I, as soon as I got him up off the bank, getting ready to flip him up on, he, he flapped snap my line so shouldn't do better <laughs> even 17 pound test will break you know so should have grabbed that i see him though he was pretty good size i mean nothing huge probably about two pounds so i mean it would have been eating size i'm not eating anything today but so yeah i should grab my net <laughs> oh well is what it is. <laughs> Got something going on on the black. Are you recording on the black max here? I don't know if it's still on there, but it's hitting up pretty good. Kind of running with it and dropping it. Nah, not on there. Might have took my. Oh, oh, whatever that was hit it when I was bringing it in, bringing in my bait, there was a little piece on it, I should probably try to throw some crankbait out there and see what happens, that worm is a pretty good one, oh, we'll get off of there. caught on somebody's string and I lost mine Jesus oh all right let me get straightened out here again okay guys so getting a hit on the black max I just had a hit on here from the uh, banana rod he's still hitting on the banana rod Uh, so hopefully, there it is, I don't know if you can see that or not. I think I'm rolling on my body cam. I'm not. Okay, I'm rolling on my body cam now. Still getting some sprinkles, which is fine, because it's not enough to get you wet. But it brings a breeze in with it, or the breeze brings in the sprinkles. Look. Those are big drops. All right, let me get you guys covered up here. Okay, guys, so I'm sitting here minding my own business. 
I don't know how much of this thing got, but I heard babe. Hurry. <laughs> okay, guys. I guess monkey got one. Start recording. Huh? No. Okay, don't pull too hard. Yeah, he's right in there. Okay, easy. Throw your line in a little bit. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Dig it underneath all that moss or whatever it is. Oh no, it's a turtle. Is it? Yeah. I caught a turtle. I waited all day to catch that. I'm gonna catch a friggin' turtle. <clears throat> oh, he's big? Yep. <clears throat> Eighteen and a half. Wow. I didn't let it lock on, but it's eighteen and a half. Got an eighteen and a half pound turtle. I didn't let it lock in, but it was bouncing between eight point five five and eight point six zero. So I'm gonna call that or eighteen. So I'm gonna call that eighteen and a half pounds. She caught that on seventeen pound test line, so she did good fighting that thing. Whew. And it bent our it bent our net up again so i'll have to see if i can straighten it out it's aluminum so you can only straighten them out so many times and uh so so far she's got me oh no snag come on all right guys i'm gonna have to snap my line hang tight okay just had a good bite on the black max. I think he's on there. I think he's coming to me. When's time you lose some? <laughs> I was just baiting up the banana rod and I happened to see it. Alright. Time to get these caster back out. Just to, oh, starting to run with it. Alright, he's hooked. I gotta remember, I only got eight pound test on this one. Wow, he's kind of swimming to me. A gar. Yeah, baby. Little gar, but a gar. Check him out. after this one there he goes 
All right, guys, I got to make sure he gets down in the water. And he's not. He's far from it. Um, let me get my net getting back up here. You know, I've, I've got bitten by a mud fin that monkey caught. I think it was 24 inches or something like that. I'm kind of, I don't like messing with these things with teeth, you know. Dang it. All right. Whew. That must have been what was, uh-oh. There's something going on here with the Black Max now. See if I can pick this thing up without getting bit. Damn it. <sighs> Hate these things because they, they swing around like this and try to bite you. And he got me. Dang it. If I can get him with my pliers. There, he's in. Whenever I catch him, something with teeth like that, I uh, always re, damn, re, re uh, hook my line and stuff because, you know, those teeth, just because it looks all right, doesn't mean they didn't fray it up, you know. So, yeah, I can feel it right down here by the hook where his teeth were. So, and my sinkers are gone. All right, so I guess I'm gonna have to do it anyway. I thought they were on there when I brought him out, but I'm not sure. Uh, all right, technically that's number two. So since last weekend, Monkey and I tied. I'll call this the tiebreaker and I'll give it to her. Though I caught two fish, and she only caught one thing, but it's hard to beat an 18 and a half pound turtle. That's pretty good, Monkey. I'm proud of you. Good job fighting that thing. Because I told her, you know, she watches these fishing guys on YouTube and they just bring it in as fast and as hard as they can. I tell her, you know, pull in, reel out. caught it on a 17 pound test so good job monk i'm going to give the win to her unless i catch something really huge right now but uh i don't know i'm not sure what time it's getting to be but i'm still getting hits so i'll give it a little bit longer but yeah depending on what happens here i think i'll give her the tiebreaker on that 18 and a half pound Eighteen and a half pound turtle, that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't know how well this camera picked it up, but um I'll get a clip of hers and throw it in right now so you can see how big it was. You can see that getting a bite right now. I think you guys can see that. I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I got him. Oh, it might. Oh, babe, I got something, and he's fighting me. Oh no! It could be a turtle. What is it? I think it's a turtle. Oh my! I got something, guys. I 
think it's a friggin' turtle. Because he's fighting me. Okay, don't pull too hard. Yeah, he's right in there. Okay. It's all water there, be careful. You get underneath all that moss or whatever it is. Is it? I caught a turtle. Waited all day to catch something. And I catch a friggin' turtle. 18 and a half. Wow. I didn't let it lock on, but it's 18 and a half. That's pretty good size. Bigger than what I wanted. He's a big old bob. And there you go. So yeah, she did good on that. She said she saw a gar up there swimming around. She said, them things are long. I said, I know. She hasn't caught a gar yet. I can't wait for her to latch onto a big old gar. I caught that a couple years ago. I caught that 37 and a half, 37 and a half inch gar. Okay, guys. Let's measure with him. I have 36 inches here. Okay. About 36 and a quarter. Pretty good size. So you can eat gar, but I've, you know, I never, I've never caught a gar till you know I moved down here, and then, you know, I'm not, I don't even know how to clean one, so uh, I don't. I don't know if they're any good, but all right. Just that little update. I can line up a little bit. Bonic bait. I don't know how bonic it is, but they're liking it. It's shrimp. I'm sure we've had in that freezer for. Well, I think since our last fishing trip over to. Uh, Crystal River, I think, was when I bought that bait because I bought a bunch of it because she likes shrimp. So I bought her a bunch of shrimp, and I think it's been in the freezer for that long. He may have took took my bait. Try to tighten the line up a little bit. He's still hitting on it. Whoops. He hits on it. Let's go. Let me pick this up. If he takes it, we'll pop him and see if we can't get a hook in his mouth. Be time to check that bait. I don't feel him hitting anymore. All right, let's check the bait. No, the bait's still on there. But whatever it is, it's not big enough to get the whole piece of shrimp in his mouth. Pretty good sized shrimp. All right. Yep. It's also making a little noise over in there. It's coming our way, so. I'm gonna see if monkey, see she's way up here. I'm gonna see if she's about ready. Uh, yeah. And all the way over there. So just in case, I'm gonna see if she, if she's ready. I'll kick you guys back on in a minute and I'll do an outro. Let's see if we can bring this in before we go. I'm 
mało. She might be on there. I just haven't set the hook. Yeah. He runs with it one more time like that, we'll we'll pop him. There we go. Ah, uh, I think that was a gar. It's unusual to get them hooked. They usually just wrap their snout around your string, your fishing line. It's usually what happens with them. Uh, saw a guy one time was gar fishing on YouTube, and all he had was some bright colored like uh, nylon ropes. He would cast it out, and he was catching gar. They would just grab onto it and swing their head around. And when they did that, they'd get tangled up in that rope. He was catching them like that. All right, I think she's packing up too, so. All right. Not a bad day, guys. So. I was thinking about calling this a fail, but, you know, anytime you try something, is it really a fail, you know? I mean, if you try to rebuild an engine, and you go to start it up, and it throws a rod immediately because you forgot to tighten it, is it really a fail? I don't think so. Maybe a learning lesson. I think a fail is if you say, boy, I'd really like to do that, but I'm not going to, and you give up before you get started, I think that's a fail. But we did catch a couple things, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth the Mantle Legend. I'm gone for now. Good job, Monk. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys. Take care.